Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we're going to be looking at more geometry nodes in Blender. Even better, we're going to be looking at a pack of free ones you can get so long as you pick these up before the end of this month. So these are all available on Gumroad for free until the end of March. So you got a couple of days left to grab these and I am a huge fan of geometry nodes in Blender. Now if you're not experienced with geometry nodes in general, the basic idea here is uh, you can procedurally create geometry and you can use it for a variety of different effects as we will see by showcasing all of the assets available in these packs. The first one here is like a medieval castle generator. And here you can see with the modifier applied some of the settings that we can use to control this guy. So we got a number of different settings. We can change the tower radiuses like so. Uh, that's for the one particular aspect of this tunnel. We change the height like so you can have a flag or no flag oops flag seems to oh no that's the tower on off flag on or off you got control over the width of your wall and so on so you got a number of different so this is defined by a nerves path uh, you could edit the path itself and it will change the location of the walls we have a number of different settings so there you can see a different nerves control surface holding that area uh, the main area at the back there and each one of these again a geometry node is defined for them uh, that you can then tweak any of the particular settings so you can see how if you've got a game with a number of different uh, castle environments in it uh, you can use these geometry node networks to rapidly create a, a number of different uh, setups for you so come down here geometry node editor and you can get an idea of what a geometry node network looks like and it, it's not uh it's not necessarily trivial. You can have multiple different nodes that work together, but it is extremely cool. So the castle generator is one of these geometry node networks that you can download for free. The next one we have is a cottage generator. Same kind of thing. You see here it's generating um, a cottage. We can set it to have snow or not have snow. Uh, we can change the position of the door, the Z axis of it. We can change the uh, width. Or I guess that was the length, the width, the roof height. Uh, you can also change if there is a chimney or no chimney. Chim chim chimney. Uh, I don't think it's actually in view right now. So where's my chimney? All right, let's go. All right, why did I break the chimney? There should be a chimney showing up. I'm not sure where it is in this particular case. Uh, you got control over how windows are shown and so on. Pretty straightforward on the whole if you need to create a cottage. By the way, you also have a selection of log profiles to work with if you do not like this. Uh, individual style. There are three different sets of logs you can create. Next up, we have freeze. Now this is completely different. The last two have been kind of building generators. This one creates a frozen image on top. So this is freezing a Susan model and you see you're just basically generating ice on top of it. You can see the network that goes together to create all the variety of things. But you see here, you've got control over the ice, the frost particles, the icicles that are created. So for example, if you want to have the icicles, like look at some of them in action. So these guys right here, uh, we can change the length of them. So again, you can use this network of geometry nodes for any kind of uh, freezing that you need to apply. Um, you, can, you can just, any kind of object you put it on, you basically just pick the object that you want to freeze around. So you got control over the frost particles and the ice and so on. So if you do animate this, you should also see uh, frost particles coming up. You can see sort of some of them back there. Uh, so if you wanna add frozen things to your world, that is what that particular one is all about. Next up, we have hydro lines. These ones, again, are controlled by a uh, spline path right there. So you can see I can go into uh, edit mode on this guy. We can grab any particular spline point, And when we move it, our hydro lines follow along. Very cool stuff, uh, very useful. So if you wanna rig up some hydro lines in your world, uh, that is what you're working with. Again, you have, I think in this, I gotta get leave edit mode. All right, so let's leave edit mode. All right. So here you can see there, you got control over the various different things. You've got multiple different types of hydro line, right up to basically large transmission lines to smaller location ones. Uh, you've got control over, are they swaying in the wind? Uh, really kind of a, another cool pack um, in this example. Uh, next up, we have the circuit board generator. This is pretty straightforward. It's creating uh, digital circuit boards. You've got control over the density of items on the board, the number of large components to have, uh, connection, what is that, range? Uh, angles to connect at, uh, and I don't know if that actually does. Whoa, that was a really strange number. All right, so this one is pretty straightforward. It is for creating circuit boards. Uh, and then we have another one. This is a lot like the hydro lines, but this is just for creating uh, cords. 
Uh, so you can connect between point A and point B. So it's a cord generator. Uh, it is using, uh, what is the actual setup or configuration on this one? I guess it's a plane. Okay, so you can create a number of different cords that go between various different uh, environments. So if you want to create uh, wires to connect things together, that is what this one is all about. Uh, next up, we have an IV generator. This one is kind of like the frozen generator, but it is for creating uh, IV uh, that crawls across a particular surface. Um, so IV on the, the various different geometry in the world. So if you want to add IV to your mesh, um, you can use this guy for doing that. You know, you'll see here, again, you got a number of different controls. So main and secondary path, the amount of scattering that goes on. Uh, I assume you can change the color so you don't need to have red ivory, but if you, uh, I, ivy, not ivory. So if you want to add ivy to your um, setup, that's what this one is all about. And then I think this is the last one in the pack, and it is pretty straightforward and quite festive. This is a Christmas tree generator. Oh, wait, no, there's one more. Um, so you could control how tall your tree is. Uh, how wide your tree is, the rotation of the branches, which I probably wouldn't use, the number of lights on the tree, the density of them, uh, the amount of ribbon, and so on. So it's another really cool one. Obviously, this one is a little bit more niche than a few of the others, uh, but when you've got that festive spirit, that's what this one is all about. And then, oh, I didn't show it. Darn. So there is one other, the tree generator, which probably is the most useful. So it's a little ironic I didn't show it. And that is for creating uh, four or five different kinds of trees. So if you want to grab these, they're all available from Blender Easy uh, or Blender S. I, I actually don't know exactly how to say that. They're up on... Um, his Gumroad account. I will have this linked down below if you want to go ahead and check it out. Uh, they are all currently, again, available for free. So we saw the cottage generator, the castle, gener castle generator. I forgot to show you the tree generator. Sorry about that. The ivy generator, the freeze generator, the electric line generator, and then there's a light version of it, and then the circuit board, and then the cord generator, and the Christmas tree generator. They're all available for free right now. So basically, if there's something you want, so if you want the castle one, for example, you just go in here, you basically click on it, like so, uh, you go ahead and say, yeah, I want that. And you'll say, name a fair price. You pick the price you want. I've already bought it. So there you go. You give it an email address and then click get and it will send you to that address and you can go ahead and download the content via view content and download it right there. These are all available as separate blend files so you can add them to a library and bring them in uh, from that so you can use them as you particularly need them. Uh, they all require Blender 3.0. A few of them have legacy node support but if you're using the most current version of Blender uh, you should be good to go. Today I demonstrated everything. Um, all the ones that we saw uh, were shown in Blender 3.0 so you do not need 3.1 or anything more cutting edge than that. But if you're using 2.9x, you're going to have to use one of the legacy mode options. Uh, so that is a really cool project. Uh, they will be commercial again in a couple of days. So if these look good to you, uh, be sure to jump in and download them. And if they're useful to you, uh, you know, even though they're free, definitely kick a couple bucks to the author and I'm sure he will appreciate it. And I got to say, it just blows my mind what geometry nodes brings to the equation. Uh, you can do such a diverse amount of stuff and Again, so you can see here from freezing objects to creating um, hydro lines that are controlled via spline points. You can see how this can be used. Basically create a selection of geometry node objects and you've got a level editor uh, in the form of Blender. There's also some tools coming out for using Blender geometry nodes. There's one for uh, using them directly in the Unreal Engine already available. And I would expect to see more of that stuff coming soon. So really cool stuff. Um, and Blender East cool pack. Thank you for making this available for free. Uh, it's only until the end of March though. So you've got a couple of days left and then I believe these go back to full price. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think of this pack? Let me know, comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.